you've made this comparison with God, with Cerebus, the, 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 the three-headed dog. And this is, I mean, if you, if you can see on the camera, this is exactly what you've written in your article, that God is like a three-headed dog. You got one, two, three, okay? And just as it's one body and three heads, you know, the Trinity is the same thing. It's one body and three different heads. That's what you've said. Now, my, my question to you is as follows. If you have Siamese twins, and this, you've been asked this once again before by Snyder uh, on peer-reviewed uh, journals, if you have a conjoint twin, what, person A, person B, would you consider that to be one person or would you consider that to be two people? This is my question. The example I used of Kerberos, uh, Mr. Hijab, I think has been greatly misunderstood. That is not intended to be an analogy to the Trinity. That was meant to be a springboard for thinking about what it means to be three persons in one being. And so I uh, thought of this mythical dog in the uh, labors of Hercules guarding the gates of Hades, which has uh, three heads, so presumably three brains, so three states of consciousness of what it's like to be a dog. And then based on that, I endowed them with self-consciousness and personhood. And uh, my position would be that you have, uh, in that case, three persons in one being. And it would be similar with the Siamese twins or triplets. You have three brains, three centers of self-consciousness, and so three persons. Now, in the case of God, he doesn't have a physical body. So what I argue there is that God is an immaterial spiritual substance or soul who is so richly endowed with cognitive faculties that he has three sets of cognitive faculties, each sufficient for personhood. And therefore, there are in God three centers of self-consciousness, and that would be a model of what it is to talk of God as an immaterial tripersonal being. I like how Muhammad Hijab is still holding the the three-headed dog, just waiting to bring mm -hmm. it up again. <laughs> so no, uh, were, were you God has the by... facilities for three different persons, but they're operating as if they're one? Is that what he's saying? I mean, I'm sorry if I sound dumb. I am about this topic. At least I am very uninformed. So I'm trying to understand from what he's saying that God is capable of being three different people, but because their wills are perfect, because God is perfect, then the wills agree. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, why not four? Why not five? Why not 10? It has to be three. Amon Ra says, this is smart people trying to defend ideas with inadequate evidence interesting perspective on that one side in this debate obviously uses aggressive and angry dialogue definitely william lane craig to attempt to force a point god could end this immediately if he exists not if he's testing us yeah or he exists and he doesn't care he's entertained but... yeah yeah you, you say you say that this is not an analogy but that's exactly what you write in your article you say perhaps we can get we can get a start at this question by means Yes, yeah, so an our, analogy. That's what you, Mr. Hijab. That's a right? springboard no, to thinking about. Dr. It. Craig, let's 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 let Mohammed finish okay. his, uh, his topic. I understand, but you you you, den you denied in your you denied in your response there that this was an analogy, and you've written in your written work that this is perhaps we can get uh, can get a start at this question by means of an analogy, and then you mentioned Cerberus as the the analogy. So the point is this: I know it's difficult. I know it's very embarrassing. I'm sorry to say. I mean, comparing God to a dog anyway. I mean, we wouldn't compare a prophet to a god. But let's just for the sake of argument, <laughs> we're, we're analogizing God with the with the dog. Now, I asked you a question, which is that if you have a conjoined twin, Siamese twins, one of them commits murder, we're going to put both of them in prison. One of them does something. This dog here can lick this dog. This here can bite this dog. These are three different centers of consciousness. Why are we considering this to be one dog only because it has overlapping bodies? This is a question that was posed to you in the academic literature. We've heard your response. I have to say it's a very insufficient and unsatisfactory response. Absolutely unsatisfactory. This is your model of the Trinity. I think this could be debunked by children, with all due respect. This is your model of the Trinity. Now, going to the part of you have to now main... <laughs> he's so annoying to listen to that even when i agree with him i know really i know that's that's the saddest part i i love how also that he probably he was doing he was probably doing his research for this debate saw this uh, three-headed dog thing and i was like you know what this is my gotcha moment i'm gonna go yeah. and find one on amazon <laughs> i'm gonna bring it up as a as a prop to just prove my point but that 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 silliness aside like do you think that there's anything valid to what what he's bringing up in terms of just critiquing the using that as an analogy or as a springboard as uh, i think that was weird of william lane craig if he said that he's using it as analogy then he's walking that back and saying it's a springboard not an analogy but an analogous springboard 
it's again confusing wording but what do you expect from someone who's trying to make sense of the trinity uh shots fired <laughs> but jokes jokes aside i yeah i'm not satisfied by his answer either but that's not to say that i'm happy about how muhammad hijab is posing the questions and gloating as if his religion isn't filled with as many if not more you know problems that also require him to dance around like that uh, so yeah, I just wanted to say again, he's so annoying to listen to, even when I agree with him. It's like it's escalating and it's devolving the conversation when it doesn't need to devolve. Like he's always talking about humiliation and embarrassment and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, he just focus on the point, and that's yeah, it. That, that jab of what well, we wouldn't uh, compare our prophet to a dog is is an example of that. Where like, did you really have to do that besides wanting to have that gotcha moment? Yeah, no, again, it's uh, that's just how he talks. That That's that's how he's been trained to talk. He doesn't know anything else. It's all about embarrassing and shaming and, and humiliating. And yeah, he can't, he can't just focus on the discussion. It's not a pleasant experience to listen to him talk. 